Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to, I guess, share with you a couple of things that I bought this week and um, a little bit of some pictures of um, some family time that we had over the weekend. So if you're interested in seeing some of the pictures and hearing about some of the things that I bought, stay tuned. so much for joining me. So over the weekend, Jay and I, we did, I think I might have mentioned that we were going to go on sort of a little bit of a, um, a adventure on Saturday. So we did. We went on an adventure. We, we met up with our friends and we drove up to Maine and he was doing an appraisal on a property way up in Maine. So we went with them and it was about a three hour ride one way and we thought we'd stop at my niece's house uh, after the appraisal. But we ended up, it was like snow squalls and all sorts of different things. So we ended up not going to my niece's house and she lives on Sunday River. You know, it's a big ski area in Maine. So we ended up not going there and we just made our way south. We stopped and had dinner, lunch, late lunch, early dinner at a dockside cafe. And we just sat, they had a fireplace and the food was good, but the company was the best. So we just sat and talked and, and made plans for our vacations. We camped together. So we made plans for our, some of our camping trips and stuff like that. And then Sunday was a family day. Sunday, Jay and I went up to my son Marty's house and uh, we got to meet for the very first time his dog. He has a puppy and his puppy, we've heard so many things about his puppy and the name totally cracks me up. The name is Ricky Bobby. And that's what they named the puppy. Well, the puppy is seven months old and almost 90 pounds, 80 some odd pounds. The thing is huge. This is a picture of Jay on the couch with Ricky Bobby and my grandson. But Ricky Bobby just absolutely fell in love with Jay. I mean, he was like all over him. It was like incredible. But we had a blast on Sunday, a total blast. So, and then Monday, President's Day, I ended up working which is today, and I'm filming this tonight, Jay is working. So I ended up teaching a class and that went really well. But I got a couple of things. I think it was on Friday, I, on my way home from work in Exeter, I stopped at Alta and I kind of went a little crazy in this store. So I bought a couple of things. I'm going to share them with you. Most of them are drugstore. I ended up going crazy in the Elf counter. I like a lot of Elf products, not everything, but a lot of Elf products. And I love their putty primer. And I knew that I was running low on that. So I got a backup of their um, putty primer because I really like this primer. I just think it's awesome. You know, I just think it's an absolutely awesome primer. So I thought I would try a couple of their other products. And so what I did is I bought a putty brush, blush and a putty bronzer. And I also bought a putty, I think it's called a putty, Elf Brow um, Cream or a Wiz or whatever. So I bought these three and I bought a clear brow mascara and eye mascara. It's sort of a conditioning thing for your lashes and for your brows. And it will, you can also apply it over your product or on, under your product. And I thought, well, if I proud, applied it over my brows, right, that maybe they would stay put and all that stuff. So I kind of thought it would seal it in. So that's why I bought that. And I'll tell you, I was, I was really pleasantly surprised. But let me tell you what I was really psyched about. The bronzer that I bought, I've been using it as a contour. Now, I've been using a powdered bronzer and contour for quite a while that I really like, but I've been wanting to try something more creamy just to see just to see how I would like it because a lot of the bronzers turn orange on me, you know. Um, I'm really kind of funny in that sense. So this putty bronzer, I bought it in the color Honey Drip. And I've been wearing it for the last, I don't know how many days, bought it last week, and I've been wearing it as a contour. I don't know if you can see. So I've been wearing it more as a contour. It's honey dip. It does not turn 
orange on me. It's not a super dark color, but I've been using it to shade the side of my nose and just a little bit on my cheeks because I really don't have cheekbones. So I've been using that and I really, I'll tell you, I like it. What I like about it is that I can put it on and then I can take one of my e.l.f. brushes or a sponge or my fingers and blend it in a little bit if I want. But what I've been doing is after I put my foundation on, I, and I usually, I, you know, I, I actually tried a setting powder because everyone talks about setting powders and I tried a setting powder and I think it made me look older. I think it made my skin look drier, it accented my wrinkles and the one that I had used was a Becca product, one of the Beccas and I've tried other powders and they just don't do good on me at all. There's two powders that I really like, but they're not setting powders. And I just put them on very, very lightly at the end. But anyway, so I bought this thinking that it might look better than a powder on me because it doesn't seem to matter what kind of a powder I use. It Powder makes me look older. So at 68, it's not that hard to make me look older. So I bought this. I put my foundation on. I set it with a setting spray. I actually bought another uh, Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Somehow, this, and I have quite a few. I really also like the MAC. Um, a lot of people talk about this, and you can see I've used a lot of the MAC up. I really like it, but I like this better for a setting spray for me. So I bought another thing of this because I was all out. So I've been putting this on. And then I dab it, you know, on where I think I need to have a contour. And then I decided I was going to try one of the putty blushes. So I bought the putty blush and I bought it in Tahiti. I had a hard time figuring out the colors. And I wasn't too sure if this was going to be too orange of a color or what. Um, and because it, it's, it's, I don't, I don't want to have a really dark, I don't know if you can see it. I don't want to have a really dark blush and I didn't want to have a super rosy blush but I knew that I needed to try to find a blush because my favorite blush of all times is my Avon blush and that's discontinued. I can't find it. So anyways, this I bought and I really liked it because after I put my my uh, putty bronzer on before I blended it in. I took my finger and I dipped in and I did like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And I look kind of funky. I look like a, you know, like one of those um, cartoon characters, right? So then I took my brush and I blended it in very gently, the bronzer and the blush kind of all together. And it looked really, really good. And I liked it. It didn't look over the top. It looked very natural. It, it almost gave me a little bit of a kissy, sun, sun kissed look. So when I was done that, I took a little bit of my ColourPop. Now in ColourPop, I have um, Sounds Grape. And it's sort of like a little bit of a, this one is a little bit more of a cream, but it also has more of a glow. You can see, this one is the ColourPop right here. You can see it has just a little bit more of a glow. So, so I ended up putting that just a very little bit on top of my cheekbones or my cheeks, cheek balls, to try to see if I could just have a little glow. I didn't want to highlight because a lot of times when I highlight, right, it's like a highlighter to me is really difficult because I don't like that highlighter where the tip of your nose looks like somebody put a little white bulb of light on there. And I think a lot of people don't realize their tip of their nose looks like that. Same thing when they do their arches under their brows. They put too much on and it's like, oh my gosh, you know, it's, it's sometimes really hard to see. So I didn't want to have that kind of a look. But I, I really, really have enjoyed the ColourPop blush and the Putty blush a lot. I'm probably going to pick this up in a couple of different shades because they did have a few different shades for me to match up. And I think I'm going to do that. The other thing that I got was this brow. And I got this in the color light, light brown, light brown. I got this in the color light brown. And it's almost too dark for me. 
I have it on my eyes now. It's almost too dark for me. So I took a little bit out in like a, one of those little plastic spatula things and I put my brush in and I put it on my brows. I had to comb through it a couple of times because the light brown was too dark. Eyebrows. And I know thick eyebrows are all the rage right now. You see all the younger gals and even the older gals with these very dramatic eyebrows. And, and while I love them on them, I don't love them on me. On me, they, they remind me of, I guess, Betty Crawford, the movie star. Something about Jane or, or uh, she was playing a real mean person in that movie and I cannot think of the name of it. So I got that. Um, I like it, but it's just too dark. So maybe a lighter shade than light brown would be better. I did have to comb a lot through, but it's held up. My makeup that you see me on today, I did this this morning, and it is now quarter of six, and I'm filming. It's dark outside. I put this on probably, I don't know, eight o'clock this morning because I was teaching. So other than just touching up my lipstick, I really didn't do anything. I didn't touch my eyes. I didn't do anything at all put the Morphe setting spray on it, which I really love. I have been looking for, um, <laughs> because I'm going for the Mohs surgery and I have a meeting with the, the surgeon coming up still, so I, I don't have any answers to that. But because I'm going for that, for this, I have been really just, even though I've been hyper vigilant about sunblock forever, I just, I don't know whether it's just like I have this phobia now in my mind and I just, you know, I'm afraid of the sun and I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying to talk myself off the cliff, I guess. So anyways, I, I bought some more of my color science and this is the 50 SPF Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield. I bought this. This is not a cheap sunblock, but what I like about it is that it does go good with my skin. You know, it's a little bit of a color. I don't know if you can see that right there. Um, and it, it blends in really nice in my skin. And it plays nice with my makeup. So I got that. And I'm really happy I got that. I also got most recently. And this was actually sent to me complimentary from Color Science. I, I do use a lot of Color Science products. I really like them. I think they... They're good. Now, they're not inexpensive, but for some things, I feel you have to pay a little extra money for. And my sunblock, I, I still use the Australian Gold, and that's very, very affordable. And I use my Sun Sensical um, from Color Science, the Sun Forgettable. I really like that. And I have been using from Dermatology, they have a tinted moisturizing uh, sunblock as well that I really like a lot. But overall, I would say the majority of my sun products are from Color Science. So recently in the Octoly Network, I have happened upon an offer from a new release from Color Science called All Calm. And this is a what they are calling a multi-correction serum. And it features all sorts of wonderful ingredients. And I'm gonna pick up my little list here. It features all sorts of wonderful ingredients look at this. So it has BioSolus ingredient complex to help calm sensitive skin and with continued use it says it helps address redness. I was looking at some of the photos on their website and they were amazing. I don't have a ton of redness that can be addressed. I do have veins but this isn't going to help my veins but what I will tell you is that when I put this on they say put it on clean skin. You can a couple of times I did it after I did my my serums uh, and I put this on it is it is really really nice it says that it calms and soothes sensitive and irritated skin and it helps give you a smoother texture it restores skin hydration this complex that they have in there actually has an ingredient in there that was clinically tested to improve hydration and moisture retention which I really like because I've got super dry skin. So I said, mm, let me try this. There's a whole bunch of details on this. To put it mildly, I really like this. It's not inexpensive, but 
I liked how it made my skin feel. And I'm all about that right now. It's 68. I'm trying to keep my skin looking as good as it can. And I'm really probably totally having a, a basal cell cancer right here that has to be removed surgically. It's just totally freaking me out. And I know it's nothing. I know it's not melamona or melamonum or whatever you call that other bad cancer. I know it's not that. But yeah. I'm all about whatever I can do to protect my skin. And so this, I really liked it. It has a time release, a bunch of peptides in there, and it's time released. And I just really love the balance of the products that are in here or the ingredients that are in here. Now, I'm not an expert, but this is really good. So I was really glad I had an opportunity to test this complimentary from Color Science via the Octoly Network. And I'll let you know, continued use, it says really will help do that, will improve the texture of your skin. I've been using it probably for about a week now, and I really like it. I really like what I've seen so far. Now, that was sent to me complimentary. I did not buy that. This I bought myself. I also bought, oh my gosh, you know, I bought these glasses, and you've, you've probably seen the ad for Peepers, and and all of that and I really wanted to check them out they looked really nice online they were not cheap came really nicely packaged it's got this really nice little carrying case what I wanted was something that had a really good blue shield a blue you know a blue light shield and this has blue light filtering so I'm gonna put these on because obviously you can see <laughs> you probably can see the lights but um, yeah so I like them. I do think, I, I feel a little like I look like a school teacher in them, but I like them. So I bought those, those came in. I'm hoping that the blue light filter in those glasses help my eyes get a little bit better or whatever, have less strain or something. The other thing I talked about in my last video, um, I've been using the Nivea Skin Firming and Smoothing Concentrate. This is also made with Q10 and L-carotene enriched. This is the original one that I have. I use, and some of you have asked this, I use such a tiny, put a little tiny dab on my finger and I put it, I don't even want to mention it because I'm not a doctor, I'm not anything, but I have two really horrible fat pockets here. I take it and I put it like just a little dab there to help lift those fat pockets up. And oh my gosh, it does do that. If my bags are really bad, I will put them on my bags. But lately I've just been putting it on my jowls and it works really good. So because so many people have been hitting on my old videos talking about it and they've been all talking about buying the Firming and Goodbye Cellulite Serum with Q10, I went and ordered it and it came. It is pretty close to ingredient wise as the other one, but there are some major differences. And I couldn't find the list of ingredients for the original one, just what it was showing on the package. And part of this package is written in a foreign language, so I really can't read it. But I haven't started to use it. But it looks almost identical, including when you push out. It has, it's a little golden clear. So what I did this morning is I put this on one side and, and the other one on the other side, just on my gels. I didn't do it on my eyes. I didn't do it anywhere else. I just did it on my gels. I didn't see a difference between the two on my gels, but my gels are also not equally as bad on both sides. So I don't really think it was a pure, you know, a, a great test, but it was a close test. So. I'll let you know as I continue to use this and try with this. I think tomorrow I'll probably try one on each eye and see. But I've always been a Nivea lover and so yeah, so I did that. Anyways, just wanted to share a couple of these things with you. I think I got it all. I hope I have it all. I hope. And I um, hope you enjoyed seeing some of the pictures. What do you think of Ricky Bobby? Gosh. He's huge, huge Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching.